Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to flip an R&B classic into a modern day Afrobeat banger. If you knew you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to find the perfect loop from the sample. And this is the song. And now this is the loop. You see how it has that perfect start and end. it just loops perfectly right so now we're going to consolidate it and match it to our project tempo consolidate this track from track starts it starts take out the previous and then Let's set our tempo to uh, mm. then match it to our project tempo. Uh, mm, yeah. So you can see here the elements from the main song, right? That is the kick, the drums, right? So we want to use an EQ to take out the low end to reduce the kick and the bass. And then let's see how that goes. And now I'm going to try to reduce the loudness of the drums. Now there are so many softwares and plugins that can do this, but I just don't have them. So I'm going to use Isotope Master Rebalance to reduce the loudness of the drums. So now I'm going to adjust the pitch of this sample to see if I can make it to sound different, all right? So for now, I like the pitch, I like the vibe of the sample. So I'm going to add a simple Afrobeat drum pattern. Then we'll add a shaker, adjust it so the timing. Add some precautions. So I'm going to add the chords for this loop, all right? If you don't know how to play chords or play the piano, there are many ways you can get the chords from literally any melody sample, melody loop, right? You can use Chord AI, which I've done a tutorial for before, or you can use Chordify, which is not free, all right? You can use Chordify, upload your sample, it's going to show you the chord, then you will download it as MIDI. Either of these options work fine and they work well and I've used them and I still do use them.
So I'm going to play a simple counter melody with an electric piano. So that's just a simple flute vibe right from Purity, but I'm going to change the sound. I think I could get a better sound. That sounded good, so I'm going to add some background or ambient melodies. Let's see. So I'm going to use a simple EQ reverb and delay to process this background melody to make it fit more in the background. I feel like it's a bit too upfront in the track. So I'm going to spread out the arrangement a little bit to see how it sounds. So for the final bit, all I did was added a bass line, change the pitch in the verse to a lower octave, all right, of the sample, of course, and then add the verse, the hook, and the outro. So let's preview the beat and see how it sounds. So that's pretty much how the beat sound. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that are struggling with using samples for the Afro beats can find videos like this to learn and make much better music. I remain so classy. See you soon. Cheers. <laughs>